a long fly ball going back, back, and the ball shatters the sky. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? Austin here in the Melodome studio. Got an awesome video for you today. Um, it is titled, Is the Human Body a Liquid Crystal Electric Circuit? Yes, it's going to be very interesting. But before we get into it all, let's make sure we like, sub, and share this out. Ladies and gentlemen, hit that thumbs up. Share it if you like it. And if this is your first time coming across the Melodome, welcome. Hit that sub button so you can get notifications for future videos and live streams. All right. And also, one more thing, Melodome.live. Ladies and gentlemen, best way to support the show. Options are there. You can sign up to be part of the uh, Mellowship. Sign up, become a member of the Mellowship. Three different options, Patreon, Rockfin, or a YouTube member. It gets you uh, hangouts, live streams where... Uh, we all jump on and just hang out for a few hours, talk about whatever. And you also get AMA streams, Ask Me Anything streams with me and my wife, Kaylee. Um, also, ways to support, ways to donate, cash app, dollar sign, Melodome, or PayPal at AwesomeAustin87. Yes, yes, yes. And the physical mail, really quick, P.O. Box 293, Oxford, Florida, 34484. Yes, 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 yes. So, before we begin, let me just state that this topic is speculation. I can't prove it myself, right? And I'm not married to this idea. I find it very fascinating. I find the idea of crystals fascinating. Um, I've actually done a live stream already. This is actually a part two, right? Because I did a live stream a few weeks ago. Um, I can pull it up. I thought I just had it up right here. Let me grab it real quick. But the live stream was titled, All Matter is Crystalline. And yep, here it is right here. Bring it over here. But yeah, this was a few weeks ago. I will link this video in the description. I will also pin it at the end of the video. Definitely want to go check this one out. Um, but yeah, I've been looking into this topic. It's very fascinating. All Matter is Crystalline. Yes, that is from a Mr. Walter Russell, right? Um, our body contains numerous crystalline structures that are fundamental to the working of our organism. We stand up straight because our body has a skeleton made up of calcium phosphate crystals. We keep our balance thanks to calcite crystals that are found in the inner ear. And we chew with teeth that are literally made of crystal, right? Um, animals. Even animals like fish, instead of calcite, they uh, use uh, argonite, 
and it's to regulate sense of direction. Also, birds, they have magnetite in their, in their heads. And, you know, that's a good explanation to how they're always um, able to migrate, you know, south and north. And I also think they can um, visually see the electromagnetic field. But it's all very fascinating. Um, our bone structure is crystalline. Also, another thing is I find fascinating is the, the fractal of it all. If I can find similarities from the micro to the macro, then I tend to come to uh, to agree with, with that. You know, I, I've also kind of came to the conclusion that this plane of inertia that we live in within this toroidal field is where all material forms matter. And it's mostly crystalline and water. Even water is a form of crystalline. But if you just look at all of this creation that we live on with the beautiful landscapes, valleys, deep crystal caverns, right? And mountains, right? Like that are crystalline, right? <laughs> and the vast oceans, you know, it just makes so much sense to me. You, you can see the fractal in it. And then when you take it down to the micro us, what is our body mostly made up, made up of? Well, our bones are crystalline and our bodies are about 75% water. Along with the realm, along with the realm, right? I just dropped my pen. But yeah, it's all very fascinating. Um, piezoelectricity right? You guys ever heard of piezoelectricity? Here is a good explanation right here. Piezoelectricity is the generation of electric charge in a substance by applying a mechanical pressure. That means if we squeeze certain materials, including some types of crystal and ceramic, and biological matter such as bone, DNA, and some proteins, we'll produce charge. Yes, yes. Let me show this uh, article right here. The body electric. Okay, soft tissue makes electricity under stress. Isn't that interesting? And you know, with piezoelectricity, energy generation from applying pressure to crystals, you know, it's like uh, the old car lighters in the cars. I don't know how many of you remember those. You press a knob in and it pops out when the coil gets hot. Or, you know, even your lighter clicking your lighter, you know, all of that. And when you think about it, when you, you know, you, you apply it from the micro to the macro, all that's happening, there's piezoelectricity happening in our body, in our penile gland, um, many areas, I believe cells and uh, muscles are transferring energy like that, information like that. Um, but when you apply it to the macro, like the earth, and you think about it, quartz, right, quartz, one of the most abundant minerals in the realm, which it may be what generates the electromagnetic field that we call ether. But yeah, that's just a thought out there. But liquid crystal, liquid crystal, what is liquid crystal? Here is an explanation of what it is. We're taught that there are generally three phases of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. But did you know that there are also intermediate phases called liquid crystals? At certain temperatures, some materials become liquid crystalline, which means they tend to flow like a liquid, but have some of the optical properties of a solid due to the ordered arrangement of their molecules. Liquid crystals can be found both in the natural world and in technological applications. First discovered in 1888, we now know of several liquid crystalline phases, each with unique characteristics and applications. Lyotropic liquid crystalline phases are found in living systems such as proteins and cell membranes. Thermotropic phases occur in a certain temperature range. The three most common types are cholesteric, smectic, and pneumatic. Cholesteric liquid crystals reflect different wavelengths of light based on their pitch and are used for mood rings, thermometers, and some displays. Smectic liquid crystal molecules form layers, much like soap. And pneumatic liquid crystals can be aligned by an electric field, which makes them very useful in modern liquid crystal displays on cell phones, calculators, portable computers, and flat screen televisions. So as you can see, liquid crystals are almost everywhere. Yes, almost everywhere. And in the body, right? Very fascinating. It's happening in our body. It's almost like, um, to me, it's, you know, we're, we're spiritual, we're souls, we're, now we're down here in the physical, where matter forms. And that's the only way we can exist within this physical realm. 
and all matter is crystalline it just makes a lot of sense to me you know i'm not a guy with any phds or anything this is just information i'm looking at and my perspective could be wrong but i would love to get all the input from you guys please let me know am i off am i way off am i on to something do you have some information that can add to all of this that's why i'm making this video you know um not married to the idea but it is a very fascinating topic um to continue there is this guy named james oshman he did a presentation about 10 years ago at an some electric universe convention right i used to look into the electric universe before i came along to fe you know and uh you know i don't think the planets are a million miles away or things we can land on if they could downsize you know their theory and get rid of the idea of this space vacuum then i think they are onto something because this universe is electric there's you know in this physical realm in this giant crystal we live on <laughs> but yeah james oshman uh he did a presentation about 10 years ago talking about how the human body could be a liquid crystal electric circuit and i want to share a little bit of that presentation with you right here check it out to earth means that we are connected to the surface of the earth and its abundant supply of electrons. This is natural. Uh, the electrons spread over and into our bodies. They stabilize our internal electrical environment. Everything works better. These electrons flow continuously from the sun to the ionosphere, via the solar wind to the ionosphere. Um, they come to the earth in the form of lightning or thunderbolts and they continuously supply the surface of the earth when we are barefoot these electrons come into our body and do very good things. Electrostatics teaches us that when two conductors with different electrical potentials touch each other there's an instantaneous transfer of charge so that the objects become equally charged and the body is a conductor of electricity and so is the earth except in very dry places. The electrons from the earth are nature's antioxidant. They are the best treatment for inflammation. People relax. This has been um, discovered to be due to changes in the autonomic nervous system that happen virtually instantaneously when you touch your feet to the earth. Accelerated healing of injuries. The living matrix is made of a remarkable material. It's, I think, the most remarkable material in the universe. It has amazing properties. It's a hydrated liquid crystal. It's a semiconductor. I mention these words. I've heard them mentioned in this conference. Um, the material is piezoelectric. It's pyroelectric. It's thermoelectric. You are liquid crystals, every one of you. When we think of crystals, we think of hard things like diamond and quartz. This is a diamond quartz crystal, hard. Mineral crystals are highly ordered, dense, hard, inelastic. The atoms are highly structured. Organic crystals are also highly ordered, they're soft and elastic. They're springy. So we don't think that this material that we feel could be crystalline, but it is. So this, this is collagen. It's a hydrated semiconductor. Uh, the electrons go through the protein. The protons and hydroxyls migrate through the hydration shell that Dr. Pollock talked about yesterday. These charge transfers are vital to life and these electrons can go anywhere in the body and neutralize free radicals that create chronic disease and other chaos. And I, it's, since it's a semiconductor and the semiconductor nature of collagen was worked out by Albert St. Georgi, various tissues in the body are liquid crystals. This is a cross-section of muscle. I think that's beautiful. I mean, there's no doubt that muscle is a crystal. This is the way collagen is organized in tendons and ligaments and other parts of the connective tissue. 
This is cell membranes, and all of these molecules are associated with water. So when you look at this, the way the collagen molecules are organized in the tendon, associated with those molecules are water molecules, which also form a liquid crystalline. Yes, fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Um, liquid crystals, the human body, we're like antennas, you know, it's pretty wild. We go out there, we set the tone, you know, we set the tone, we put out the frequency. Um, humans, human, man, light, beings, we are more than the physical, right? We are more than our five senses. We need to go out there and set the tone, ladies and gentlemen. If you think this topic is fascinating, please leave a comment, like, share it. Let's get some feedback. Um, I'm not an expert on crystals, right? Um, just like looking into things that are fascinating, you know? But it is important to be the reason why people still believe in good hearts, good vibes, and kind souls. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Uh, real quick, if you want to get a Melodome t-shirt, head over to Melodome.live. All the shirts, $30 plus shipping and handling. My wife, she runs a merch store right here in the Melodome studio. She runs the merch. I run the mic. It's a good way to support the show, guys. Peace and love. And of course, peace stands for positive energy activates constant elevation. And the love is real. And when you keep it real, you keep the real ones. I'm out of here. Peace. Keep your energy right This is not some expert advice But certain shit you gotta value and protect with your life Check the calendar, no room for acting extra tonight I ain't preaching, I'm just shedding some light Got a homie at the crib, he ate the way that he lived Cause his family take from him, he just give and he give He had to cut him off, move shit, he did what he did I don't blame him for the way that he slid Cause you gotta move cautious My window closed, don't mean to be cold But I'm feeling exhausted who talking? Hey, yeah, I gotta move cautious. Don't mean to be cold, but my window closed, and it happens too often.